Should you study computer science at the University of the People if you want to be a better game developer? So um, before I get into that question, I uh, just want to show you around a little bit. I'm here in White Point Beach. This is in San Pedro, California. It's kind of a special place to me because we used to live not far from here. Just about a mile that way, right on that hill up there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's a pretty nice place and it's very quiet and, uh, and uh, it's a good place to come in and reflect. That's Catalina Island right there, yeah. Definitely recommend taking a trip there if you ever, if you ever come visit. Whoever is watching this or wherever you are, yeah, definitely come visit San Pedro, California. It's kind of a hidden gem. Anyway, going back to the topic at hand. So should you be studying computer science at the University of the People if you want to be a better game developer? The short answer is sure, you should. You don't have to though. You can be a great game developer without studying computer science at all. Uh, however, uh, studying at the University of the People has helped me tremendously in my own video game development career. Um, let me just give you a little bit of background. Before I started uh, my degree, I uh, had some experience working in uh, Game Maker Studio and Goda and uh, a little bit in Unity. Uh, I was pretty much stuck. Whenever I had to f do something, I always had to look it up on Stack Overflow or I had to look it up on YouTube just to find some tutorial for, for simple things like um, how can I, uh, I don't know, how can I transition from uh, one room to the other and keep the, the score the same. Um, and yeah, I felt like even though I was understanding the concepts that were being taught in the courses that, I, that I've taken, um, yeah, I, I just it, something uh, uh, didn't quite click. I couldn't do any of the, uh, a lot of those things myself without without guidance. Now, since I've uh, started my computer science degree, I'm in my fifth term right now. Um, pretty much going on the end of my first year at University of the People. I feel like I've grown a lot as a programmer, um, and uh, now I actually uh, I can figure things out on my own. I, I rarely ever go to a tutorial and. Uh, I don't know if I'm using the best method every time, but I can pretty much just figure out how to do most things um, when it comes to games. And uh, how did the University of People help me with that? Well, we started with programming, fu uh, pro programming fundamentals um, with Python. Uh, it was a very, uh, it, it didn't go into a lot of depth. That, that first course, it was pretty much like an introduction to programming and learning a little bit of Python syntax. Uh, but towards the end of it, and because we had such a great instructor, I discovered some concepts that I wasn't aware of. Like, I understood the idea of the big O notation, I understood that, that some ways of doing things are uh, more efficient than other ways of doing things. Um, that uh, having these endless nested loops uh, takes a, a bigger toll on the performance than, uh, than finding better solutions to that. Um, so I already had, I already, right after programming fundamentals, I understood some concepts that then I used to refactor some of my code in, uh, in my platformer. Then, um, taking programming one and two, there was a big emphasis on object-oriented programming, which is absolutely fundamental to working in Unity, for example. And, and as well as in Godot and GameMaker, everything is object-oriented programming in these game engines. Um, so uh, understanding that at a more fundamental level and outside of the context of uh, a game really helped me apply this better when I was uh, developing uh, and uh, working with the, with the objects inside of the engines. Um, a really good example of an assignment that directly um, improved and inspired some game development techniques. Um, we had an assignment in uh, programming two, I believe, that was on recursion, and we had to do we had to uh, have a random sentence generator. Uh, we basically created the syntax, and uh, then we used recursion uh, functions to um, yeah to basically generate uh, generate random sentences of different lengths. 
Uh, and we could plug in our own words and, you know, our own adjectives and nouns and pronouns and all of that. It was quite a lot of fun. And I realized, wow, you can use this in a game engine to generate random quests. And, and um, uh, those, uh, uh, those uh, nouns and adverbs, those don't have to be strings. In a game engine, you can have objects or, yeah, different assets, different images uh, pop up on the screen like that so you can generate these whole patterns um using recursion and that's definitely something that's supported in unity and c sharp um so yeah that's one example of how i directly apply this into my own uh yeah into my own work uh with games um another advantage of studying at the university of the people uh specifically as a game developer is that at the end you do get a degree and i think out there in the job market for for game programmers um, there are quite a few self-taught programmers that just had big projects and they got picked up by these big companies like Blizzard and Epic <laughs> um, there are a lot of people with degrees from top universities with computer science degrees um, but you have people somewhere in the middle so you are you are self-taught but you also have a degree it's important to have impor uh, to have top projects to, to be working on stuff to to have your games out there to have people play your games uh, to be able to show what you can do, but at the same time having uh, sh uh, showing that you've gone through a computer science degree um, Even if it's uh, nationally accredited will give you a big advantage. I think over uh, over other indie devs so Overall, I think that uh, that those are some pretty big pros in uh, studying at the University of the people um, If you want to be a game developer it also teaches you uh, other things that you might not see in game development courses on Udemy or Coursera, such as web programming, data structures. Um, and yeah, uh, if you have any questions about any of this, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. Uh, I'll be happy to answer anything. I know I'm kind of rambling. It's okay though. I'm just getting used to talking in front of the camera and I don't really care. I'm gonna show you my shirt too. We just had twins, so I have this cool shirt that said, he says, Dad, totally out of energy, which I am, and twins will never run out of energy. So thank you for watching this, and don't forget to subscribe and like and all that, and I'll catch you next vlog.